organising, getting those agreements nice and clear with the venues. Do you do you have to have written contracts every time you have a club, or do you like we we'll just sit there? Sometimes the verbal agreement isn't that great because you turn up on the day and then they the turns to custard. Yeah. Like um, you know, if you've got a big venue or a nightclub in town, how, how do you approach that? Well, with with Zeal, they have um, written contracts, so it's, it's quite good, kind of tells you what you have to do as responsibility as a promoter to do after the show and before the show. Um, some venues like King's Arms, it's usually just a verbal contract, but if you want to, you know, really cover your ass, you can say, hey, I've got a contract, can you sign it? Just to, get, um, you know, say, this is how much money I'm going to pay you at the end of the night. Um, I'm not responsible for this, or I am responsible for this, and that kind of thing. It's just good to have something written down. Like I know when you're when you're touring, it's if you don't have a contract and something goes wrong, you kick yourself. You just like I should have, you know, had something written down to cover that. But um so I've learnt from past experiences it's always safe to have a contract with bands as well. Other support bands and headliners and venues and stuff. Yeah, lots of um lots of people now like contracts were something that you just didn't get, I think. Um playing, I don't know, indie gigs, let's say four years ago when I started out, like people would have laughed at you because, no, it's just mates and, you know, whatever. But as soon as you start playing things like club nights, they always want a contract and they want an invoice and they want you to be tax registered and potentially GST registered. Um, and they want to, you know, write all that stuff down. So if they do ask you for that, you know, you should also feel that you can ask for other stuff that you want. Um, Every gig, if you are the you know designated band manager, everybody else in the band will ask you, oh, what's in the rider? You know, how many beers do we get and stuff like that. And lots of venues will put that stuff down in writing for you, which is really helpful. And I know the King's Arms, you know, sometimes they don't, and it gets yeah, and you're awesome. like, where's the other dozen? Please. Yeah, you know, and then things get testy, uh, and the gear gets broken. But um, yeah, but I think those kinds of contracts are a really good idea, and um, lots of even kind of uh, festivals like uh, Camp Aloham, uh, Blink, he, he's been touring for like 10 years, he gets everybody to sign a contract, about, partly because people always break stuff, but yeah, it's much more standard now, and I think you should feel that you are perfectly fine to ask for that, because it does protect you. Yes, I agree. Uh, yeah, like it depends on the size of the venue. Like, when you get suspicious, Dave, if like somebody said, "Oh no, let's let's just shake on it." Oh yeah, I mean, if depending on the size of the show, if someone said we're not signing the contract, we'll be like, "We're not doing the show then," because it's like yeah, it's, it's exactly that. If you haven't got it in writing, they come back and said, "No, you said you were going to pay us ten grand," and it's like, oh, "But we're not even making that on the door." But it's like, "Oh, you said, he said, she said." Um, so yeah, we. I mean, even we do shows at the King's Arms. We did an international there last Saturday, and there was no contract, but it was based on the relationship. Like we have a, a good enough relationship to be able to to know. But it, yeah, generally there's always even a short form contract sign that says this much. You'll provide this, like you said. It's it's got a basic rider on it, and what we're paying for the venue, what we're paying for the PA. So it's pretty easy, and you know, even as you can go as far as saying is that if you've got in writing an email that's almost as good as well. You can go back and say, yep, yeah, you told us it was going to be 100 bucks for the venue, now you're saying it's 500 Let's just go back through the email trail. So having, having it written down is, you know, it's, yeah, it's wise. 